Hey, you misunderstood. Bitch. You want to know what zodiac sign is the most misunderstood? I'm going to tell you. Here's the top five most misunderstood zodiac signs. Number five, Capricorn. Capricorn can come off very cold, very serious. They give, I don't give a fuck about you vibes. But wait, it's not what you think. Capricorns is a person that's very cautious about who they bring in a circle. Now, Capricorn is not the kind of person that's going to be your best friend in one day. Capricorns have a major fear of being hurt. They got walls that go up. And they stay there. And if you're not a part of that Capricorn circle, then you don't really know that Capricorn in the first place. Capricorns are lit. They fun. They the life of their party. But they in a circle group party. You see what I'm saying? You're on the outside. You trying to get in, but you out. Access denied. Sign the Capricorn. That's why Capricorns can sometimes have rest in bitch face. They don't control their face. It's like almost like they got too much Botox. You know, and their face got stuck. They don't show no emotions. They hold everything inside. They're passionate people. They say it like they mean it. And they don't tolerate disrespect. As long as you respect them, they'll respect you. Good vibes. Everything's all good. Namaste. So it's not that Capricorn is cold and serious. They just don't know you like that. Oh my God, they so misunderstood. Number four, Virgo. Virgos get the rep for being very critical and judgmental. It's out of order. Fix it. No, why? Hang up. I know what you're thinking. Let me explain. A Virgo is the kind of bitch that wants you to be all you can be. And they're here to help you and guide you to be that person. They don't want you to waste your potential. You get it? Virgo loves showing acts of services. And based on how their mind works, they can always foresee a potential problem or issue. Because it works like a computer. You know like how AI works? That's why they want to come and tell you about it. Baby, I love you. But listen, this is where you went wrong. A Virgo is a person that wants the best and they believe in hard work. And that's why whenever they do something, is intentional and they do it right. And oftentimes Virgos see things that you don't. Virgos got really big hearts. And if they have a genuine care for you, they're going to try to help you. Virgos just simply believes that if you can do something right, why not do it right? Why be sloppy? And oftentimes people be thinking that Virgos think they perfect, but Virgo don't think they perfect. They think they worth it. Virgos like things to be in order, things to make sense. Virgos be the type of bitch that do damn near everything right. Listen, maybe we should take that bitch advice, you know, but not when they drunk, but that's a different story. But anyway, they so misunderstood. Number three. Aries. Aries get the rep for being bratty, aggressive, and they always want to fight. And no, they don't always want to fight, but they will fight. And not only will they fight, they will whoop your I could ride her to the face. Multiple blows. But wait, it's not what you think. Aries is a sign that loves hard, they love fast, and they have big old hearts. Aries is a fun-loving person. They love to have a good time. They're impulsive, all about the good vibes. But that all stops once you disrespect them. You see what I'm saying? It's cause and effect. Aries is a sign that's all about respect. Aries may come off a little bratty, but Aries is the person that lives in the moment. Aries are far from selfish, but they will take care of themselves. How can they take care of somebody else if they not take care of themselves first? Aries are extremely independent and very strong. And like I said, Aries don't want no problems. So don't start nothing, won't be nothing, you see? That's why Aries misunderstood. Number two, Gemini. Gemini gets the rep for being two-faced and changing their mind and being real flaky. But wait, wait, hold up. You misunderstanding them, though. Think of a Gemini as a chameleon. Personality of a Gemini tends to be very versatile. They can talk to you about the fundamentals of preserving marine biology. They can also tell you what happened with Ray Ray at the gym yesterday. Yeah, it went down. And they got all the teeth. And remember, Gemini's operate in duality. And they're very smart. They can think and focus on two things at the same time. While simultaneously comparing both situations and realizing that this one was better. So yeah, I changed my mind. I don't give a f I'm gonna do what's best for me. And the thing is, Gemini's, they don't mean no harm by it. Very free spirited. They have to be constantly growing and changing and evolving for them to find a greater self. I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. You see? They are so misunderstood. Number one, Aquarius. Aquarius is known in these streets as a weird. Aquarius tend to beat by their own drum. That's why they're so misunderstood. Aquarius just get the rip for not having no feelings, which is not the case at all. Aquarius have feelings, but they prefer to process them by themselves. That's why oftentimes during an argument, Aquarius may walk away. They go gather their thoughts, and plus they don't want to curse you out. You see what I'm saying? The way sometimes they appear to disconnect, it appears like they don't got no feelings. Aquarius is a sign that sometimes they can get overwhelmed, and they just need some space. Because if they process their feelings in the middle of what they feeling, baby, you gonna get your feelings hurt, and you don't want that, right? When Aquarius gets space, they get time to clear their mind, and they make their best decisions. So now, Outside, they appear detached. At the core, they're the most loving, generous, kind-hearted person, and they want to save the whole world. And after a day of saving the world and giving their all, they just want to go home, close the blinds, and be left alone. That's not too much to ask, right? I promise they are misunderstood. And I think that's it. What I miss. What Zodiac sign do you think is the most misunderstood? And as always, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know I'm going to ask you like I always do. Can you share it for me, please? Can you share it for me? It helps me out so much. You going to share it for me? Yeah? Okay, cool. I just want to make sure I ain't misunderstanding you. All right? I love you. Bye.